Well, as Denver grapples with record overdose and alcohol-related deaths, the CEO of a local treatment center shares what some consider to be a controversial take on this cause. I visited Step Denver to learn more about a common misconception around treatment. We need to begin looking at addiction as the primary driver for homelessness. Paul Scudo with Step Denver, a residential treatment program for men in the Lodo neighborhood, is passionate about helping individuals find their path to sobriety. We want someone to know we're going to help you today. We can provide same day intake. There is no cost. We understand that you're coming with nothing. Scudo's urgency is genuine. Because I suffer the disease of addiction, I could not stop drinking and using drugs. And slowly over time, I watched myself lose everything. A wife, jobs, my family, my money. I became a felon and ultimately I lost my home and lived on the streets for two years. Every month he contacts 44 low or no cost treatment programs. He says right now there are 138 open beds in the metro, including 23 at STEP. Numbers consistent with multiple recovery centers Denver 7 reached out to, which are running 70 to 80 percent capacity. The narrative that there isn't enough availability for services it's not something that's been our experience as we've done that research. Right now, there's a focus on substance abuse. After the Denver Medical Examiner recorded a record number of overdoses in 2023, and the CDC found a 60% increase in deaths from alcohol in Colorado since 2018. From your perspective, being in this work for many, many years, what is the cause behind that increase? We have seen the key motivating elements that used to drive an individual towards help be taken away. We've decriminalized possession and use of drugs. Also, we're providing all of the survival needs for an individual. Scudo has a controversial take as more and more organizations see substance abuse as only a contributing factor to homelessness. The annual State of Homelessness report from the Metro Denver Homeless Initiative found in its survey that family breakups and the high cost of rent as the top causes of homelessness. I was fortunate that friends put me into treatment and then I engaged in a long-term peer recovery program like we have here and I was able to rebuild my life. Step says their current three year average for participants who complete their program is 80% sobriety and 91% independently housed. If you or someone you know is looking for help, we have links on this in this story on Denver7.com.